I'm at my neighbor's property, uh, basically connects to mine. He has access to BLM land, so this is public land. There's about 300 and some acres. I had no idea this view and area was so close to my property. So I'm out here with my two sons. We're checking it out. Really fantastic. I'm not sure how it's coming through on video, but the views are just amazing. Love it. Now I have a cool place to go and explore. So cool. So many rock piles everywhere. Formations. This is almost like a natural little wash. Yeah. So awesome. It's getting kind of steep. So many cool things to explore in Colorado. It's one of the things I love. So many cool rock formations, so many things to do outdoors just to get away from it all. I mean seriously, look at this. Totally amazing. It's gonna be a long time till I get to explore all this. I mean, there's so many little crevices and nooks. So wasn't this like Ute territory? I have no clue. Oh, we we'll found arrowhead. That'd be cool. Dude, imagine you took like really like a little part of it. Is there a, is there a pass, a way to get through? Yeah, it says we're close to wash. Yeah, like this follows like yeah, you can see the erosion. The water definitely this flows like through here. Scrub oak and ash and the travels all along down this and leads us to the valley. So yeah, I want to hopefully get to the creek. Though I hope now we don't get the thunderstorms. <laughs> if we get heavy water, <laughs> we might have to climb to safety. 
Man, look at this. It's so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of oak. So if we do get to the stream, I guess if you did follow it, we would get to Paradise Cove. Yeah, this is public land. Look at that tree. Look at that grew into the rock, from the rock. It's massive. Oh my God. Look at the trunk on that thing. This would be a cool place to camp. Heck yeah. Throw up a few hammocks. Yeah. Seriously. Well, watch, step here. Oh, bear scat. Nice. Right here. Right there is your scat. So we are definitely in bear territory. Come on, heart beat up a little. Like this area down here is like the bottom. Ish. We are gonna keep heading downhill for a second and then it'll come uphill. Well you can see it. There's the uphill right there. I guess we should have brought the bear spray. Oopsie. Wow, that's so cool looking. No, I'll protect us. I got my knife on me. This one, Dad. Yo, my little big fish in here. Oh, there's running water. Is the water? Yep, creek. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, she's on a pine so you have running water. Oops, big ant colony. Not too big, but like some black ants. Wow. That's some thick yeah. stuff. Very little brown squirrel. Little waterfall. Very small. This is a tree that's got in the a little waterfall type of thing. Oh yeah, if you don't want your feet wet, there's a tree right here. You just walk down. Yeah. You want to keep walking this side of the stream? Yeah, I think so. Well, let's release some fish in here. Man, look at the size of that tree on the other side. Yeah. So big. That's <laughs> big. Yeah. Well, so we go this way. Which way? Yeah, I wanna if you have to cut back, if you have to do this section, if you keep going straight this way right inside the property, you don't square.
Man. The only problem down here, you know, being in this wedge, if you do run into a bear and it doesn't have an escape route. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't feel like turning around. Man, it's definitely lush down here. It is. So different than just a mile. Yeah, I know, right? The size of those rocks, dude. <laughs> and then you can see when it rains, the water trickles down it, and it does it enough that there's moss all over it. It's wow. I see pink moss. There's just flowers, but. We're still on BLM, right? Yep. Like squarely. With some road clips there. We're not even really close to any power property right now. Oh, big mushroom. Big white one. Oh, wow. I cannot believe how lush and damp it is down here. <laughs> it's crazy. We've got <laughs> a few seconds and like... Oh, you can just hear the brook. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's running along a rock. It's just carving out these... Oh, yeah, look at that. What? Smell that? Those kind of snakes, thank you. We're paving our own path. There's no trails here. We're just on wild BLM land. So many bugs in there. Yeah? Like a little water spider. You can't this doesn't look like it's real passable. No, but I would I just want to see this. Like you know how the water looks? It looks so nice. Yeah, water looks nice. I wonder if there's like any pools or anything. You can take a bath. Yeah. This is different. I wouldn't, because there's farms upstream. I wouldn't do it without a life straw. <laughs> Trying to get around this big tree. He went right through. This is so cool, the water just runs between these big massive boulders. This is a really thick area, so I have no idea how to get through this stuff. Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was a big Oh, sorry about that. This is so wild. Well, apparently there is a mountain lion den down here. Uh, oh, that stinks. There's definitely a big uh, a hole right here. That's you can definitely uh, see the oh, effect of humans. Sucks. There's a couple of tires that down here. They must have came down during some floods. Because we're definitely where water travels. That stinks that there's tires down here. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop filming for now until we find a way out of here. I don't.
think it's going to be good video, good content to just see brush. I'll be back. Check this out. Such a cool little cove. Little baby waterfall. Really quiet. Natural circle of rocks. I'm telling you, this is uh, really amazing. If you haven't done so, get out on public land and start exploring. Be surprised at what you find. It's like natural shelter. Huge rock overhang. We're in a gorge. So I'm not terribly a big fan. It is beautiful, but there are some storm clouds above. If we got heavy rain, we could be in danger. It's definitely cool. It's just so steep. At some point, I want to try to get up top so I can get a better view, but there's just so many different angles and ways you can go. There's so many areas to explore. It's like endless. But it's really disgusting to see human activity down here, tires. I've even seen a burn barrel. It's kind of disgusting, actually. Unfortunate. All right, it's getting really thick here again. I gotta find a way through. Just more views. These rock formations are so beautiful. I don't know if it's coming through okay on, on the camera, but in person, outstanding. That, the habitat is so different down here in this gorge. It's, it's like it's hard to even believe I'm in Colorado. It's so lush and green. Then you got these really cool rock formations. Oh, I wonder, hey, it looks like this might be, we might be getting close to the old quarry. Because look up there, huge pile of granite, granite chunks. Are you able to see a satellite view of here? So there was an old quarry here, granite quarry. And you can see the huge pile of granite chunks. Fantastic. Looks like it's right on the other side of that's where they were digging. So we can get in there, there's a two track. There's a road that leads into it. Cool. So we can walk around it and go in if we wanted to. Nice. And then the car, the car should be somewhere up there. Cool. Remnants of the quarry again. But outside the trees, jeez, oh, these rocks are so big. What, what were they, for here? they were quarrying the uh, the granite. So they were just mining. Out yeah, they were basically taking out the granite. I don't so know what they used it for. They could either crush it up or they could, one. you know, make countertops, all kinds of stuff. Look at this. Unbelievable amount of activity here, human. Definitely gonna try and, I'm standing just about ready to step in water. I don't think we can get through here to the left, it's all marshy. If we can get up onto this little high ground here. Looks like a path right there. So watch your step there, because I can hear the water. Yeah, hey, you can see it right here. Here, watch out, I'm gonna try. Step up here. I got it. Yeah, I definitely want to see this quarry. This is really thick. I'm trying to find the best way to get through this stuff. 
I don't have snake boots on or anything. I haven't seen other than the garter snake up here. Today was the first snake I've seen. I know there's rattlesnakes, but I haven't seen any up here at this elevation. It really opened up, so we were down in that gorge for a while, hiking along the stream. Now I'm working my way to an old quarry. <laughs> You're smaller than me, that means Get out of here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. This is actually sick. Yeah, this is literally a private pool. I want to see if there's any fish in there. I don't oh, yeah. think so. I feel like a bird. Eating some you can see all the holes in the granite where they drilled for blasting. It doesn't even look like a big quarry, but it's a pretty big pit. So cool. Love it. Starting to get some raindrops. So yeah, it's good to take a break from oh, homestead work. Yeah, it's hail. You see the big it's really hail? Yeah. I got a little picture. Yeah, that's it. I was like, I thought you threw something on me, but I kept looking at it. Yeah. Oops, one took my bag. Yeah, I see. Pretty cool. Yeah, as I was saying, it's good to get away from the hustle and bustle of the homestead work I have to do. Just get out and relax and get some natural exercise, hiking. It's really fantastic. It's definitely good for the soul. Though unfortunately I'm getting kind of bit up from mosquitoes. I'll have to put some spray on. But where does it go? Is it passable as you go? Yeah, it keeps going. Alright. Starting to rain. Probably get off the rock before it's too heavy. Starting to rain again. Electrical storms nearby. Just trying to make our way back out. Following some ridges. What can you see on your uh yeah, it, man. Uh, we close to private land. In which direction?
where's the property line now. Okay. The harder right. The better? Yeah. Alright, there's an opening up here. We're just trying to make sure that we stay on BLM land and don't drift onto private. So we're consistently checking our phone to see where we are. Hopefully we don't have to take cover, but there's plenty of rock outcroppings. Definitely don't want to be under any trees during an electrical storm. A lot of wildlife, lots of birds. All right, we're just gonna keep working our way out. If I see anything else interesting, I'll film it. Here's a nice new clearing. I put another picnic bench in right next to the cabin. I just wanted to have another spot. Cause this spot is always in the shade and the other spot gets sun and it's for afternoon so two different spots to sit well that's a wrap for today today was just more exploring recreation relaxation getting away from the heavy work here it's pretty stormy and raining so we're gonna pack up and head out it was a great time there's so much more public land to explore near my property so if i see anything else interesting the next time i go I'll be sure to show you. Until next time, take care.